Hi, welcome again to our channel. And uh, in this video, we will share with you the technique Ushiro Ryotedori Kokyunage in Kinonagare. So there is a dynamic attack, uh, Uke trying to grab your hands, your wrists from behind to, to hold, get hold of you. A and then we're moving on with the technique Kokyunage with a simple projection, so which looks simple, but it's maybe not so simple to do. So let's go into the technique, see the details and, and how it works. As the UK is coming, a little bit diagonal from the side to, to grab our wrist, to, to go behind us and grab our wrist, we want to drag in into a circular movement around us, and we do this by moving our back foot to the other side, to the side, and then changing hanmi. So with this movement and, and uh, a little bit of uh, feeling of center getting down, grounded, connected to the ground, getting heavy, uh, we drag the uke into the movement around us, and as he is coming to the other side, we'll do a step fear here, or we will slide forward uh, to finish this kokunage projection. Okay, so after the explanation of the footwork, let's have a look at the technique now with a partner. So the idea is that the uke is coming around to grab my wrist and hold me back here, get hold of my arms, and and. Uh, immobilize me in a way from behind in the standing position. So I couldn't move anymore, right? Once the uke gets, gets hold of my wrist. So what I want to do here is the change of hand me. And actually you can see that with this movement I can drag the uke into a circular movement around me that uh, brings, brings him over to my other side. So he, the uke cannot really stop here and grab me from behind and block me. Because as, as, as Sandra is coming in here, she, she goes out on the other side, okay? I can add a little bit of energy into this movement by, by getting kind of heavy in the center. I'm adding some energy here that brings her out to the other side, and this is already the right direction for the energy to go for the Kokunage throw. So this is quite easy to finish. Let's start on this side now. As she moves to the other side here, I let her continue her movement and I just get a little bit down with my head, lean forward, bring my ar arms out uh, to the front so that she can slide over my body, over my head and, and go into the Kokunage fall. Okay, now there are a few important things for this technique. One of them is I don't want to let her bring my wrist here behind my center line because then she can definitely <laughs> immobilize me here. Okay, so if we do it uh, in a bit more dynamic attack, if I let this hand go behind, it's actually she's having me and I, not I'm having her. Uh, the other thing is I don't want to bring my other arm up above my head. So even if I get it right here, I don't want to bring this one up because uh, again, it doesn't work. <laughs> and my personal way of doing this or thinking about this technique is that I want to, the, the arm, the hand which is receiving the attack, the wrist which is receiving the attack, I want to bring it close to my hip. So I don't let it go behind my center line. I don't keep it in front, I keep it on the side. But this is actually getting close to the hip, getting kind of close to the center, almost, uh, keeps it strong for me. Okay, and I imagine that I sink in when I do this movement. I imagine that I sink in with my center, but I'm getting heavy solid, uh, which actually adds energy to the movement of the uke. Here, okay? So the uke is moving out on the other side. And then I just 
uh, bring the other hand a little bit out, waiting for Veuke to grab. I mean, Veuke's idea is to grab both wrists from behind to immobilize me, so he thinks maybe that he can still do it. He, will, he, he wants still to grab it. If he wants to grab it, if he grabs it's perfect, then I can do my kokyunage in a very classic, basic way. Uh, if not, then I can still probably throw the uke away, even if he doesn't really grab firmly my wrist. Okay, and then I want to lean a bit forward, let the uke go over me, and a little cut backwards for the kokyunage. So hope you like this version of the technique and, and, and the presentation, the demonstration we've done with Sandra. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, come back again for another video on our channel. Uh, we're usually publishing two videos per week and see you soon.